Welcome, welcome. How you doing? How you doing? Um, did you get on to uh, the chat? We talk about supply system. What's the problem? You just got to pay for things. Yeah, I popped in. I didn't see. Uh, there was no one. I, there was a one. Someone on voice only, and then there was a the dude with the rockets, uh, but he wasn't there. I didn't see you there. Were you the guy with voice only? Uh, I see. Yeah. It really needs someone to facilitate the conversation. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I didn't see a user ID, so... I just thought I'd pop in and check. Okay. Well, <clears throat> let's see. I found the... Uh, so what's up, what's up with the supply system with this game that you say you were having challenges with? I know this is kind of a one-way conversation, but... Uh, if you can articulate a question that I can answer, I'll try and answer it. And while you think about that, I am going to, uh, if anyone else who just joined, if you want to just at least just pop your name or say hi so I can see who's here and then we'll uh, kind of go out. I actually may need to go to the, the bathroom. Yeah, I'm not a fan of running supply either. Um, but you want to play Operation World War II there's this or there's the uh, Eastern Front system which is all set in 1941 and it has its own issues anyway from what I'm reading so who knows I'll be back just give me 10-20 seconds or something Okay, I promise I wash my hands. It's all good. I'm gonna put the seat up so I can see what's going on. I clipped to the counters. Um, let's uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, so the cool cool deal is here. I've got uh, an entire division coming on, which I'd forgotten about down here, bottom left hand side, 9th Infantry, and. <clears throat> A couple of dinky bits and pieces that we need to put on the board as well and a couple of supply tokens that we'll uh, have o uh, left over and above for shipping I have eight allied shipping factors and uh, here's the tricky part uh, one part of me thinks there's a problem here because there's no this is a port and it's a trace supply port it has no port value in terms of the shipping capacity for the... Oh, here it is here. Boom. 3T. Okay, so this dude can take... Um, oh, let's see. That guy can take basically a battalion then. Okay, that's not much very used to me. And um, one SP. So shipping units... Uh, let's see these guys here. Yeah. Let me do this. Now I have no hand to tap the screen with the focus. That's a regiment. And our regiment is equivalent, just as in uh, the Europa system, is equivalent to a supply point. So I've got uh, less than one T here because I haven't put an engineer in here. Sorry, one SP, which is the equivalent to uh, one, that's one supply point, which is equivalent to a regiment. 
I have uh, just shy of a regiment here because I haven't put an engineering unit there to repair it and I don't know where my engineering unit is. It's all the way over here. So that's the first thing we do this turn is move that guy back. Um, so that means I'm going to bring everything in this other port here and he can bring in one and a half. So I'm going to get one regiment in this turn plus a battalion. There's a recon battalion so we'll do that. We'll send those there to Lakata, which is where, which became a, a port. I'll try and angle this down a little bit for you guys. Um, maybe just move over here out of the way. My camera, uh, you know what, I'm gonna put the stand up a little bit higher. I'm all, uh, there we go, that looks a little better. Okay, Lakata is here. So, I'm actually not going to be able to get this entire division in this turn, which is a real pisser because I screwed up. Now I can, uh, uh, I can uh, try and ship them in and land them, but I've got to make a landing roll then. And the last time I did that, I lost uh, a bunch of stuff, so I'm refusing to do that. I want to save my risky rolls for a secondary invasion. And that's a point. I could do a secondary invasion. Now might be a cool time with the 9th Infantry to try and land over near Palmero. But we still have lots of um, coastal artillery that we have not taken out over there. Palmero is all the way over uh, right, just right there, right there. Uh, all right, so I'm going to put all this stuff in the floating box. This is a real pain in the ass because I haven't fixed that port and it's slowed down half of my shipping and I need to get them in, in the right locations otherwise uh, it's a problem and I don't th oh, oh wait I can do I can do one here there we go that's a uh, a, a port that I created so that's two thirds of the division if it's a useful crap no truck no RD no HQ though that'll all have to come in later I can bring one tier of supply in over here. We'll do that. I will bring, there's another one over here. I'll do uh, that there. Now, Syracuse, I can bring a bunch of stuff in. Maybe I should bring it in over there and, and strap move it. That might be a good idea. Let's do that. At least I'll get the headquarters and the truck. How much is that gonna be? One and a half, I can do one, and the truck. Can I do the truck? Hmm, I can't do the truck. All right, I'll just bring these two guys in then. I'll put this over here, and we'll land them in Syracuse, much to the chagrin of the British, because that is going to slow down their supply efforts, but they will muster some other supply from other locations, such as right underneath the camera, one, and one over here as well. Okay, so that's the supply kind of landing and everything. Hey Patrick, how are you doing? Oh, cool, uh, Devin. I think that'll be fun if you um, <clears throat> do that. I like that Great Battles of the American Revolution system, uh, particularly with the little tactical cards. I think it's kind of a cool, a cool light, uh, fun system that uh, gives you lots of choices. I, I like that uh, game uh, a lot. Um, and the Vassal modules are really nice. Okay. So, Allied turn, 19th of July, it's the bottom of the 19th of July turn. Uh, I've got my, now I can't bring in those units. Is there another port up here? There is. Augusta can take 3T, it has damage. This stuff will fit here. I'll bring it into Augusta in move mode. And I think what we're going to do, fellas, is start over on the British sector again. And uh, let's see what we got. <clears throat> A 
I'll try and uh, get back here in the corner a little bit so you can see the entire situation. The last turn, <coughs> the Germans got a back-to-back -back and they, they disrupted these two forces here. And I think this needed to come off last turn, actually. I retreated that back and did not take that off at the end of the turn. This guy goes into the port. So, that was all very rude. And that's kind of put the kibosh on any sort of attack that could potentially happen along the Palmero, the Palmero, the uh, uh, Cemento River here, the uh, Primasol Bridge. I almost had, uh, I was across the Primasol section of the map and then got pushed back through uh, some nasty counterattacking. And uh, that's what happened. So I think what I'm going to do is actually flip from move mode uh, I'm gonna have to do this this way pull back one hex and get out of range of the arty and then close and, and attack next turn uh, and I'll push up the sacrificial unit here to keep that uh, hex occupied and I'll do the same here all these guys I believe yep uh, now that's got armor in it, so I'm going to pull this back one. The armor, the airborne, I can put back to here. Should I put it there? No, I'll put it there. The armor, I'm going to have to pay to move. So I will find. Uh, there's one. And. move these guys back to there and they're fueled just for the record I'm gonna move this these destroyers along the coastline a little bit and we're gonna this turn we're gonna barrage these forces here I'm actually gonna barrage these reserve units and try and pop them out of reserve uh, if you attack a unit in reserve through a barrage or airstrike and get a result on it, it pops them out of reserve. Uh, that will weaken the uh, defense a little bit. I've got my artillery here that I can move up later on. Might just scooch this dude up to here. Let's put him up to here actually. So he can stiffen that defense up a little bit. Actually, he probably better here. He's not going to make it. Actually, one, two, three. Right. One, two, three, I'm gonna sneak that dude up into there as well. And now I've got another unit here. I will move these two guys together here. So now I've got a little core here that will, a core set of units that will allow me, depending on where I decide to strike, I will be able to uh, punch, you know, punch out the line. Maybe not use the uh, the armor if I can get away with it and kind of go go for from there. And how much further back in the uh, Germans and Italians go? It looks like they're running out of out of Ireland, indeed. So, uh, Kyle, if uh, I don't know if you saw some of the earlier videos, but the idea here is there's a specific date for which. The Germans are allowed to start uh, ferrying units off the island back there. And basically they've got to hold out uh, as long as they can and then get as many uh, complete formations off as possible. And I'll let you know how that works. There's a victory condition thing here somewhere. Uh, campaign. Axis Sudden Death Victory. <laughs> Axis Sudden Death Victory. At the end, at the end, if the end of a turn, there's no Allied attack capable units on the island. Good luck. Um, it's an auto victory for the Allies if they can control all this, the hexes of uh, Messina, Palomero, and a bunch of others. Uh, German withdrawal. Give the Axis player VPs based on the raw number of attack-capable German units. 
which exit the map, blah de blah. Uh, so, you know, then you just uh, tally up from there. Is there a date they can start? 10th of August uh, was the uh, withdrawal approval. So that's a month away, less than a month away. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's 13 turns away. I don't know. Uh, yeah, they're not going to climb Mount Etna. So they've got 13 turns to hold, and I've really got to work out how we're going to, you know, how we're going to do that. Uh, it's looking pretty grim, actually. But let's not get distracted. That's the German problem, and we're playing the Allies at the moment, so we want to press that. Uh, breaking through here will be a big deal. But in the meantime, I need to kind of consolidate these forces uh, here and push, start pushing them up to threaten a second, a second axis, I think. So let's see what we got. These guys are all infantry. I'm going to uh, do this to flip these guys over. And this guy here will go one, two to there. And this guy will go one, two to there. He can't attack because he's in parentheses. This dude can and that dude can. One, two, three to there. Um, oh, you know what? One, two, three. He was here, right? Let's flip him over. And let's fuel him up. This is from the last turn. Let's fuel him up with one T from here. And he's going to go one, two, three, four to there. Five plus the uh, terrain for the river. I think that's going to be a plus five. Uh, yeah, five. So what did I say? Five. So that's 10 to there, 11, 12. 13. So he's going to go right there. Huh. You know what I could try and do, actually? I could try and overrun that guy. I don't have a stack to do it, though. Just wait. Let's see here. Yeah, Patrick, uh, food is the. If you see these little white, uh, these little white things that represents ammunition and food. Uh, and there's two types of supply. There's combat supply, which is what we're using to fuel and move vehicles. And then there's trace supply, and that's more the food and uh, stuff like that. Uh, trace supply is something you do in a particular phase in the turn. So right now we're just going through the uh, the movement phase, and then we do supply, then reaction, then combat, then exploit. And I'm kind of moving a little slow here because I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, These guys have cleared this out now, so that's one, two, three to there. One, two, three. I'm gonna flip this over to combat mode so he has his own control. <coughs> one a half. Just three to there. The Canadians to there. Move this guy up to here. Canadian 
as well keep this dude on lockdown. Flip this HQ. And this HQ. Run a bit of a gamble there. I'm lucky that the uh, enemy did not see that last turn. Let's put this little dude in here to protect it so that if we have to take a step loss out of the hex from an airstrike, it can be an infantry unit. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to come back and grab this SP from back here and bring it back up here and then just flip this dude over to a 1 just to keep life simple and I'll actually move it here and dump it into this hex and create a dump there because there's an HQ there we can do that and this truck will continue to move and he'll move back down the road to the port uh, ready to pick up more fun things should the opportunity arise. We'll flip the 12th Corps headquarters over which you can't see in the bottom left hand side of the screen. I'm going to bring the 5th Infantry Division uh, truck down here as well. He's going to move down to this port to pick up supplies of which there are none. I'm going to activate these aircraft by spending one T to redo the airfield, which I should have done earlier. And I've got some supply here. There's the first Canadian supply truck. We'll push that up a little bit. Ah, oh, gosh. Okay. So this is just a tacky mess here. Now, let's see if I have throw... I can get... I'm going to have to put this unit here. He has no zone of control though because he's out of supply, so I think that's okay. I don't have to worry about keeping that blocked. So one, one and a half, two, so I can, or well, three, four, I can get all the way back to here to grab supply to fuel these tanks for the, for the Canadians. But I don't really see anywhere where they can go, but I do want to just move them to consolidate them. And it's going to cost me 2T. Uh, it's 1T to supply each one. So there's one. And I'll take it along from there. It's two. And these guys will now be fueled. I'll we'll grab a fuel token. And I'm going to plop. Oops. Well, we'll just leave it on that side. Doesn't matter. We'll plop these guys there with a fuel token. And the dude underneath it is not fueled. That's okay. Now. 5th infantry here, here we go, one, hmm, I've got to be careful not getting too far out of range here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all right, so one, two, I think we need to come this way, one, two, three, one, two, three, and I'll push something else up to cover that bridge, one, Mm, two, no, oh shit, where was that? One, two, two and a half. That's not gonna work. Hmm. All right, well, I guess it's gonna have to be these Royal Marines, as sucky as they are. Can they get up there? Probably not. One, two, three, four. Five, six to there. One, two, three to there. Oh, here we go. One, one and a half, two and a half to there. Okay, that was hard, wasn't it? One, two, three. It's hard because I'm not paying attention. Okay, fuel, supplies, donkey full of supplies. Second armor is all the way up here on the left hand side. I've got a couple of little units back here. I'm just going to shuttle up one, two, three. Actually, he can go onto his far side. Four, five, six. This dude can now move up. One, two, three, four, five. And then we 
we're going to deal with second arm. And there's a couple of comments here. You guys chat amongst yourselves or five beers in. All right, Kevin. I like the way you roll. Oh, Kyle, you making old fashions? Make me one, my friend. I'm drinking Yeti. Still drinking that beer I had before. All right, um, let's see. I got a mess, uh, not a mess, but I need to work out what I'm gonna do here. Because really, uh, third, uh, second armored and third infantry need to start going this direction. You look at the big picture, right? They need to be kind of angling that way. At least that's what I think. I'm not sure. So I could potentially avoid fighting these guys here, which would be ideal. Let's see. One, one, two, three, four, five, five, six. So we could block the road there with something. So I've got something dinky here I could use to block the road with. Let's see. A four. Four. They're all pretty decent, actually. I'm looking for like a little recon unit. Here we go. A second armor recon. Let's try and. Oh, I can't get there. What's a hill? Two MPs? I think it is. So that'd be two, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so if I'm gonna have to flip that guy, can I get supply to him? Let's, let's see, where is the HQ? Second armor HQ just happens to be right here. If we flip him over to his big throw side, he can reach back to here, grab something, and go one, one and a half, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can get there. So I'm gonna pop two T to get those guys moving. I'm just gonna do it uh, one uh, uh, individual tokens at a time. It might be a little less efficient, but I think it'll work out okay. So this guy's gonna flip to eight uh, to his move, his high speed side. Two, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine to there. So he's going to block that bridgeway. And I'll send, I'll actually send this mechanized infantry as well. Oh, was I here? No, surely I was here. No, I was here. Was that river? No, was it? Where was I? Shit. Here, there's a river here as well. Mm. Okay, two, four. That's most expensive. No, I can't do it that way. I have to go back. Was that river there? Is that where that guy was? Yeah, Kyle, what happened was uh, Patton uh, went basically that way to Palmero, which is here. And then came up the highway and then uh, third division went up this mountain road which is kind of sort of what I'm trying to do when the British were dicking around around the uh, eastern side of Mount Etna. I'm pretty sure this was here. And if that's there, uh, I don't, did I? that's going to be five. So that's seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, it doesn't matter. I still make it. Okay, they're both fueled. Yes. Yeah, Patton just kind of went for it. That's exactly right, Dante. Welcome to uh, welcome to the hangout, Dante. I see we've got eight folks there. Whoever else is here, say hi and uh, let everybody else know who you are. And uh, I'll try and say hi when I'm looking at the screen in a minute. Okay, these guys are all DG'd, which kind of sucks. Mm. I'm just looking at these airborne guys down here. I'm trying to... One, two, three, four, five. They're not going very far. Mm. They're going to be out of supply if I do that. I can't do that. They're basically as far as I can go right there. 
Oh, God. This, this rough terrain is just a bitch. Uh, let's push these ranges up here. One, two, to there. This airborne unit, flip it over. Flip them up there as well. What we want to try and do is see if we can't get behind these guys. You want? I'm going to be. I'm going to be. Uh, I'm going to be. Uh, hmm, can I get around there? Probably not. Not this turn. What I should have used these guys for is to block this off here. That's what I should have done. But it's too late. I don't want to change all that. So I've got a bunch of supply there. Down at the beach down here, I've got a bunch of supply. I need to start shuttling stuff up to where it belongs. So let's grab some supply. Two SP. And let's rocket that up to here. To where tenth, where the second arm it is. And dump it. come back and you're gonna ask me why didn't I count the hexes it's because I know it's about 10 movement points watch one two three four five six it's seven okay so that's 14 plus 10 is 24 and uh, you can't see that because it went off screen just there I think I'm right here uh, so I've got 24 movement points that I've used and I'm gonna pick up uh, I'm going to leave the rest of it there, actually, and wait until we get some more supply in. Third Infantry Division is just kind of screwed up. I'm going to try and consolidate the rest of Ninth Division. One, two, three. Actually, I'll come this way, so let's not do that. Oh, look, I do have an engineer in Port Empicado. So Port Empicado could be repaired this turn. I need to spend an SP to do that, and I don't have one. That's what we use the extra 24 movement points here. We'll grab these SP here and shuffle them over to the HQ. Or actually, the HQ can probably pull them from there, so we don't have to move them, because it's not 14 movement points. And he will pay for that, and that fixes that port. And that engineer is done for the turn. Okay, I know, I know you guys can't see some of this, I'm sorry, but it, the glare is probably just as bad as being able to see. I'm um, right here. Okay, let's see. Hey, Tony. Yeah, Kyle, uh, there's not a lot of defenses on the road, but uh, the problem I've got is supplying the forces. These, uh, these locations here and here are supply hubs so that I can trace to them on a road. Um, so these guys are all okay, but once I start getting out on these roads here, I, trails, I, you, you, you have to throw to everything uh, to keep them in trace. And I just don't have the range on my, my guys right now to do that. So it's a little bit hairy at the moment. And uh, I'm gonna fuel up uh, a couple more of the armored units over here as well and support this up here. Uh, I'm just gonna push this guy up to there and use that one T and I'm just gonna I'm gonna nest everybody here for the time being and and work out what we're gonna do um, well let me see I need to get rid of yeah see I need to get rid of these two units before I can push these guys up through here otherwise they're gonna be out of supply so maybe what I need to do is just sack up and make an attack here 
uh, and be done with it. In fact, why don't we do this? They're going to be out of supply if I do that. Well, pff, I don't want to attack at half strength. They're all DG'd. I don't know. I don't know what to do there. That's hairy. I don't know what to do here. This first Falsham Jaeger force is tough and I'm scared of them. I've got nothing here, basically. I really have nothing here. I need to... Um, I need to do something. I need to do something smart here. I'm really struggling with what to do here. Uh, okay, let's see. The ninth just landed down here on the bottom left hand side. I've got aircraft I could use. I can bomb stuff. These guys, my best units are DG'd. Everything else is ash and trash. These guys have moved. There's nothing here except for supply and a truck. I can move a truckload of stuff all the way around here and put these guys in trace and then attack these guys from behind. Should we do that? How about that? Let's see if we can make that happen. Okay, I can use second armored, uh, second armored fuel from here, we'll activate these three, four guys, these four guys. So here we go. One, two, three. Let's do this. Let's just, you know what? Hang on a second. Three. Oh yeah, I can do this three. I can't use the road movement points to move into there. Fuck, right now that. I was gonna do over on three. <clears throat> three and a half. Uh, eight, uh, three and a half, we might as well just stay there and keep it safe. The truck can come along. I spent, uh, there's three units there, four, so that's empty. The truck will not come along. The truck will go and get more fuel. One, two, can anything come at us from anywhere? They could. Let's move this guy two, three, four, five, six to here, just to be safe. Now, I'm going to need one SP of supply in the supply phase to keep those guys fed and happy. And we are going to do that by using the truck, which you cannot see. It's out of picture right here. There's a truck here. I'm going to grab that truck. It's got two capacity. It has two loaded already. And we're just going to crank across here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oops, to go the wrong way. Nine, ten. Here we go, 10, 15, 20, 25. 30, 25, 26, 27. I'm just gonna land right there. I, I, I rolled over that. I can probably capture it, but I don't think I'm gonna worry about it right now. Let's just take it off the board. Um, I don't see any threat from here per se, but you know what? I think I'm gonna keep these, these this supply closer than further away. All right. I am also going to need enough supply to attack if I want to attack here. And maybe what I do is move to this hex here. I've still, I've got enough movement points to do that and that's less distance for the headquarters to throw. Can I make, actually the headquarters can probably make it. It's one, one and a half, plus even if that's five, that's eight and a half adjacent. This guy doesn't have a zone of control so we can do that. Ooh. Well, hey gang, look, there's 14 people here all of a sudden. Look at you guys. Let me just stop uh, for a second and say hi. Uh, using your cell phone to watch, that's interesting, Patrick. I love the Blitzkrieg legend, Christopher. Uh, uh yeah, but if you're new to the system, I, you know, career is probably a good choice because it's more manageable in size. The Blitzkrieg, if you play the full campaign, the first turn, 
uh, for the Germans is going to take you two or three hours just because it's enormous. And the second term will take you two or three hours. And then after that, it kind of it evens out a little bit. But there's lots of smaller scenarios that you could learn on. Uh, you could, um, you could, uh, there's lots of smaller scenarios that you could learn with in the Blitzkrieg Legend. I would not be put off by it just because it's a big game. It has many small scenarios. That's just my two cents on that. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, these tweezers are just, um, they're, they they have a, a, a rubberized, uh, actually it's not rubberized. Well, look at it. It's got a serrated edge in here. I don't know if you can see that very well. Yeah, let's do this. One second, I've got to turn the messaging off so I can see. So it's got a, a serrated edge on the inside here, right? And, and although this adds a little bit of weight to the end of it, it's got a little light. So if you're older, you know, you can see stuff. I very rarely use it unless I'm playing in the dark, which doesn't happen very often. Uh, so there were eight or nine dollars something like that I think someone sent them to me as a gift um, okay let's see okay so we're gonna try and do an attack here I can get I can get uh, well hang on a second so here's here's the here's the thing if I can throw to here for combat supply I can throw for uh, trace supply, so I don't need to move this dude all this way. I can just pull from here because the headquarters will go grab the supply. I mean, he virtually grabs the supply for trace, right? And for throwing forward, he goes back one, two, two and a half. And I'm sorry, you probably can't see. Let's zoom in here a little bit. I'm trying not to knock pieces when I move the camera. Okay, so he's the the the, the headquarters, and I'm sorry, I'm doing this so slow. I'm kind of out of it. Um, I took a huge Tylenol, uh, not Tylenol, a huge um, ibuprofen tablet. It's making me a little slower. One, two and a half, back to there. You can count back five uh, truck movement points, grab supply, throw it forward to units to keep them either in supply, uh, in the supply phase, or to let them use it during combat. And Bob, if that's wrong, Shout at me and tell me that, because uh, but I believe that this HQ has no zone of control, so we can do that. And throwing it forward, we throw it forward. Ten uh, truck movement point uh, cost one, two to there, because these are all my guys. Two to there, plus five is uh, seven. So I think we're in good shape. Okay. So that's that. I'm not going to do anything over here with the Falschmjäger. I'm just going to hang out. I I am uh, a little wary of doing anything too aggressive. I think I'm um, I'm a little uh, little concerned. I'm a little concerned with uh, making any aggressive moves over on the left hand side of the map over here. So. Uh, let's now look for opportunities to do some um, aggressive air strikes. Oh, I did not roll for the number of air strikes for the turn. Uh, roll a one. I get to do one ground strike this turn. And I think this will be the place we do it. And just for that, I'm using the B-17s. Where are they? Two B-17s. I'm coming. I'm coming in hot. There are no air over here that can do a patrol that can do an intercept. I'm bringing some uh, uh, support. I'm going to bring in a uh, thingamajiggy escort, and we're going to roll for. You <laughs> watch me roll an eleven. Uh, we're going to roll for flak. I've, I'm done moving. I'm not moving anything else. Uh, there's a couple of little pieces I might move in the background that we'll do later. But this is probably the only thing we're going to do combat-wise except for uh, the second armored attack. So here we go. <coughs> okay, I rolled an 8. So that's good. 
Even if we have modifiers, which we do, we're going to have a plus one for the flak because it's uh, it's uh, uh, three. It's got an escort on it. Okay, but that means that we're good to go on our combat. So now we're going to roll uh, sixty factors. That'll teach you, bastards. Six. Oh, you motherfucker. All right. So I rolled a five on the sixty column. Let's see if we're going to make it, any adjustments to the size. Yeah, it's a one resize and it's in close terrain. Uh, so it's going to drop it back one column on the 60 column and I roll the five. All of that, I get a DG. Really? Yeah, I still would have had to roll a nine or a 10 for anything sexy to happen. But it makes me feel good that I got to use my B-17s again. They just got that. They just got that snot smacked out of them. Wow. How? Uh, hey, uh, Kyle. How did the? Uh, are you using revised rules for Men of Iron? How did the Longbowmen get massacred? That doesn't sound right. They're like uh, mobile. They're like ancient tanks. Um, I'll be back in a second. I'm going to turn my air conditioner back on. It's getting hot in here, and then we're going to we're going to resolve this combat right uh, right there, right there. I'll be right back in just a moment. Okay, so we uh, DG'd those guys. None of you bastards are answering any of my comments about whether I'm playing this right or not, so I'm just gonna carry on. Right, so now I'm attacking this, oh, we gotta do supply. Uh, we worked out that those guys will be in trace. I gotta put these guys back on the base, let's do that. Uh, this goes back and goes underneath the uh, airfield, he's done. You know, what I could probably do is do some air sweeps. Uh, that didn't work out so well last turn. I'm probably not going to do that this turn. So let's, um, let's attack this hex. I've got some... Um, it's in rough, so that means it's going to be halved. Uh-oh. So two, four, six, that's, I mean, I've got three factors. Headquarters have a defense value of five. Oh, I'm attacking one to three, that's a one to two. This unit has a, uh, uh, what's its uh, effect on this rating? I think it's a two, right? So that'll be giving me a plus two. I'm gonna need to use some of these guys. Let's see how much more. I may as well just use three more T here. So let's do this. Two, three more T. So that's gonna be six, twelve, eighteen. Divided by two is nine. And then it's halved again. Oh, it's four and a half. You're kidding me. Four and a half, seven and a half. Okay, so I'm gonna get a one-to-one -one attack. And I'm spending how much to do this? This is not smart. One, it's going to be seven. So let's get a one T. Actually, let's just make this a three and take those two off. Ah, you bastard, come here. All right. That was expensive. All right, let's roll the dice. Uh, and this is still not gonna solve the problem because I've still got that artillery piece there. You know what? I'm gonna do a second attack with this, uh, this guy. 
while we're being stupid, we might as well be completely stupid. Does anyone remember what the HQ uh, rating is? Uh, AR rating. Yeah, hey Bob, would you, is, is, is an HQ a 2 or a 3 on the effectiveness rating? Okay, this is, I'm, you know what, I'm just going to roll the dice. Let's roll the dice for surprise. And that's fantastic. How can I not get the die in the bucket? How is that possible? And it bounced out and knocked the shit out of all my pieces. Doggone it. All right. Sorry for the cussing. Okay, let me try that again. I'm going to roll again. Okay, I got a nine on the roll. A nine on the roll. It's a standard attack. Uh, I'm gonna add. I get to add two because this is a two and this is a four. Yes, that's gonna do it for me. That's gonna give me attack a surprise. It takes that up from one to one attack to a four to one attack on the close terrain. Four to one. Roll two dice and add two. I roll uh, an incredibly average seven, becomes a nine, and that's an AO1 DL101. So I've got to take my option first. I am going to retreat. No, I'm not. I'm just going to take a loss. I can rebuild these guys because we're American. We can do that. Let's uh, take this. Oh, well, I've got to take the guy. I used the rating. So this guy dies. He had to spend a T to. <sighs> wow. I am all over the place. All right, so that's dead, and there's three T left in the hex. These guys will stay there. I'm gonna attack with this guy as well. These guys will move into the hex. He's dead, thank goodness. Worthless piece of crap. Now, infantry, two factors versus one factor. And it's a plus two on the surprise roll. I'm feeling lucky. We're going to go for it. I'm going to spend one T out of here for that combat. And I get a seven, eight, nine. There's the die roll. Seven, eight, nine, and three shifts. So it's a one to one with three shifts. Brings that up to a four to one. And now we roll two dice and add two. Two dice and add three. That's a five plus three is eight. <sighs> Same result, AO1, DO1. But this time we're not going to advance, so we'll retreat. We'll go back one hex and these guys die. And this guy dies, and we'll rebuild him later on. And that, my friends, is all she wrote. Okay. Hmm. That was expensive. Oh, I gotta, I gotta pay an extra T out of here. That becomes a two. Where's a two T? And these guys are here. HQ rating zero. Well, okay, that would have added um, four to one. That would have added uh, two extra to the die roll. I roll the. Seven plus two pumps it up two more. See, same result. DL one oh one A O one. That's why you don't worry about it, dog. You just you don't let it get you too bent out of shape. Um, let's see. All right. You guys are talking about Tunis. So let's see now. Where are we at here? We chicken shitted out of doing anything with the, the first uh, Falsham Jaeger, uh, trying to take them on. We uh, are about to drag the cable uh, for the phone through the counters. In the center, second armored, you know, just not well done. Just not well done. Over here, we were looking at doing a combat with this little guy. Reality is I've got him surrounded anyway. I can uh, I can leave him. I may have put this dude here potentially out of supply, but I think using the road one two three four five one two three 
four, five, seven. Eh. Oops. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Well, okay, I guess I'm going to have to put him here then. I don't need him across the river, do I? You know what? I'm just going to bring him back. Mia culpa. That's what that's called. Otherwise, he goes out of supply, and then I've got to roll for him. All my guys up here are in supply now that I've got the larger HQs in uh, in the frame. I did not do any barrages up here with the Navy. We should do that. We should do that. That's the great thing about playing solo. If we forget something, we can kind of say we need to do that. Now, I actually get to uh, uh, fire those units, these units here, in each of my active uh, phases. So in the movement phase and in the exploit phase, I get to fire these, uh, these artillery units. So let's do that. And we're going to use the principle of ganging up on one unit at a time. And the first stack I want to fire at is this reserve stack, and I'm going to one, two, three, four. They're all in range, so it's uh, uh, 36, 48 factors. Is there a size shift? I don't think there is because there, there's at least a re of stuff in there. Oh, plus it's a, no, it's only a battalion. Okay, so there's going to be a minus one on the column shift. What did I say that it was? Three twelves, four twelves, forty-eight. So we're rolling a forty-eight column minus one, so that's going to be the twenty-five to forty column. I roll it. Nope, that's not a ten. It's a nine. A nine on the twenty-five to forty column is simply a DG, so that knocks that out of reserve mode. That's a good thing. And I'm just totally. Here we go. We have tweezers for a reason, Kevin, but that's fine. Okay, the next unit I'll attack in the exploit phase, which would be now actually, because we just did combat. I will fire uh, at one of those infantry units, this guy right here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Actually, I'm going to do this stack. And I roll a seven, that'll be a DG as well. Turnabout's fair play. Okay, the wrap up for the turn, we pull the DG markers off the other guys over here. Disrupted markers. Okay. Right. Uh, so that comes off, DG markers come off. I had everybody over on the UK side in supply, I'm pretty sure. And there we have it. Okay, um, clean up. I have no other units to uh, adjust, I don't think, or, or make adjustments for. Move these guys out of the way. So I think we're done with the turn. That means we're going to move to. 21st. I'll roll for initiative now. Red will be the uh, uh, black is always the, the Nazis, so it was a three. So the allies have initiative, that's what I was trying to say. So they're player one, and it's green, and that's where probably I'm going to wrap it up, guys. Uh, so thank you for tuning in for a second hour of live gameplay. I really appreciate it. And um, it looks like you guys are having a nice lively conversation here anyway, which I'm happy to uh, chit chat if you wish to, but I imagine you guys all have uh, other things you would rather be doing than uh, than talking here. So thanks for thanks for tuning in. If anyone does have questions on OCS and they're not super complicated, I'd be happy to try and help you out. I see uh, lots of commentary. You've got uh, Bob and um, and ER online, uh, they're both uh, pretty seasoned uh, game players and OCS players as well. And Kyle's played as well, so I certainly appreciate all of you um, tuning in and, uh, and thanks for hanging out. All right, peace. Talk to you guys soon.